Good afternoon and welcome to Piping Up, presented by the Tabernacle Choir at Temple Square. I'm your host, Luke Howard. These organ concerts are streamed live every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at noon Mountain Time. Previous episodes of Piping Up are also available for on-demand viewing on the Tabernacle Choir's Facebook page and YouTube channel. And you can find out more information about this concert series, including downloadable program listings for this week's episodes, at tabchoir.org slash piping up. Our organist today is Richard Elliott, and he opens the concert with his own organ fantasia titled Let Earth Receive Her King. As the title suggests, there's a liberal dash of Lowell Mason's Christmas hymn, Joy to the World, in this jubilant music, joined by some Handel and even a bit of Beethoven. Claude Daquin has been called Le Roi des Noëlistes, loosely the King of the Carolers, for his focus on organ arrangements of French carols. One of his 12 published Noëls is the Noël étranger sous le jeu d'ange, sans tremblant et en duo. The rather unwieldy title is actually quite helpful to the organist. It indicates that this is a foreign carol played on the reed stops without the tremulant and in duet. Genre, origin, registration, texture, and form, all in one title. It's marvelous. Then Richard will play the well-known adaptation of Adeste Fidelis, known as Gesù Bambino, by the Italian composer Pietro Ion. After studying the organ in Italy, Ion became organist at the Vatican before moving to the United States, where he ended up serving as organist at St. Patrick's Cathedral in New York. And though he composed many organ works and other liturgical pieces, Jan is known today almost solely for this one Christmas melody, which, 
quite remarkably, remains popular without a notable premiere or significant recordings by famous musicians. But first, Dakin's Noël étranger.
Geoffrey Shaw was perfectly placed to have a substantial influence on English music in the first half of the 20th century. His music credentials were impeccable. Shaw came from a musical family. His father and older brother were both composers. And young Geoffrey sang as a choir boy at St. Paul's Cathedral and then studied organ at Gonville and Keys College, Cambridge. But while he continued to play organ and compose throughout his career, Shaw's greatest impact was felt neither in performance nor composition. He taught music at Gresham School in Norfolk, and then became an inspector for the Board of Education in London, and for a while chaired the BBC's subcommittee on music for the schools. Shaw edited the public school hymn book of 1919 and produced numerous songbooks for church, school and home use. While other musicians with whom Shaw rubbed shoulders collaboratively might have been more in the spotlight, more famous perhaps, Geoffrey Shaw toiled diligently behind the scenes, teaching, raising the standards of education and performance, creating resources and materials that would ensure future generations of musicians would benefit from the best music education possible. He gave freely of his talent, but in a way that didn't elicit popular praise or widespread recognition. And yet, where would music be today without diligent, gifted teachers? In this regard, Geoffrey Shaw's contribution to English music exemplified the direction given by the Apostle Peter to use the gifts we have been given to minister to one another as servants of God. It was no surprise, really, that Shaw was awarded a Lambeth Doctorate in Music by the Archbishop of Canterbury in 1932. And this degree was awarded for musical service to the church, a rare distinction for someone who was primarily an educator, not a composer or organist. The gift of good music and the gift to appreciate its effects on the soul of the listener is something we all share. Richard Elliott will now perform Geoffrey Shaw's Variations on an Old Carol Tune, the tune being the Renaissance-era Christmas melody Pue Nobis Nascitur, Unto Us a Boy is Born.
In this traditional part of the Temple Square organ concerts, Richard Elliott plays his own arrangement of the 19th century pioneer hymn, Come, Come Ye Saints, followed by his arrangement of the tune, Green Sleeves. At Christmas time, of course, this tune turns into the carol, What Child Is This?, a setting of the 1870 poem by William Chatterton Dix. And then, for the other 11 months of the year, it becomes just green sleeves again. I can't think of any other melody that moves so evenly and fluidly between Christmas and folk song.
Good King Wenceslas is one of the more curious holiday songs in that its story actually centers on the Feast of St. Stephen, the day after Christmas, or according to the traditional liturgical calendar, the second day of Christmas. But it's a fun holiday song with an inspirational and seasonally appropriate message of goodwill and generosity. Richard Elliott concludes his program today with his own arrangement of Good King Wenceslas. Thank you for watching this episode of Piping Up with Principal Tabernacle Organist Richard Elliott. We hope you enjoyed the program. You're always welcome to return for the live stream of these concerts every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, and previous episodes of Piping Up are also available for on-demand viewing. Piping Up, Organ Concerts at Temple Square, streams on the Tabernacle Choir's website, Facebook page and YouTube channel, and at broadcasts.churchofjesuschrist.org.